typically a safe procedure. Blood transfusions have many risks involved. This can't be happening. During blood transfusion, the amount of circulating volume is more than the heart can effectively cope with. The blood continues to enter the body to the point he gets bigger and bigger and bigger, like a giant balloon. What? What is happening to me? Blood must be removed immediately. Overload accounts for up to 1% of patients receiving transfusions. When someone has over 10 blood transfusions, they are at risk of having iron overload because the donor blood is high in iron. Too much iron can create an iron overload in the body, making them feel weak, fatigue, lose weight, joint pain, and abdominal pain, and later turning into more severe symptoms. Iron overload can and usually leads to hemochromatosis. More than 1 million people have iron overload in the US. Iron is eliminated via bile in a substance called bellorubin, but John's bellorubin can't keep up. Oh no! Viruses and other infections can be transferred through the blood transfusions. At times, these diseases can be deadly. Examples of some diseases and viruses that can be transferred are West Nile virus, HIV, AIDS, hepatitis, and other viruses. Donated blood must be thoroughly tested for infectious agents. If someone is allergic to the blood being received, it can result in the patient receiving an allergic reaction. Reactions include fever, chills, hypotension and hypertension, pain, acute respiratory distress, dark urine, bleeding, and hives. John's body can also mistake the red blood cells as an infection. The immune system will then kick in and kill the red blood cells. Transfusion-related acute lung injury, also known as trolley, is a serious blood transfusion complication. John got his now ex-girlfriend pregnant. What? I'm pregnant! During delivery, there was a large amount of blood loss. She then had to have a blood transfusion. The fetus creates antibodies to white blood cells. The antibodies attack the white blood cells, which activates them thinking there is an infection. They then go to the lungs, creating and producing chemicals, which creates liquid in the lungs, which could result in death. 